everyone shaper 1000 here and Monday. we are on our way back out we're going to break camp then we're going to do a little fishing monkey wants to try our fishing pole so uh, man it it got hot last night didn't it yeah it was very warm last night yeah. at midnight it was pouring down rain but it was 71 degrees and this morning well it's 1149 now but a little while ago it was 59 degrees, wasn't it? Yeah. Hence my warm hat and my hoodie. So, all right. Well, we're going to break camp and do a little fishing for you all. So stick around, stay tuned, and all that jazz. So we're back. Everything looks to be fine. Bruno's got his sweater on. I mean, usually 59 degrees is not that cold, but uh, it held up pretty well. That one little thing came off back there, but I didn't have it real tight. But it poured last night. I, you know, I forgot to lower these before I left, so, but it held out good, held up good. Um, but yeah, 59 degrees is usually not, I mean, it's windy too, and it's cold, man. But yeah, last night about 12.30, or I guess you can say this morning, a.m., it was, uh, it was 71 degrees, it was hot, it was a hot rain. So I'm gonna break this down and get her fishing rod ready to do some fishing. She's filming us, filming her, filming us. So. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I'll be back with you guys. So, the guys, camping right down here in that little camper was the homemade camper that we seen a couple weeks ago when we was camping at uh, at Flying Eagle Preserve because I commented on that camper and I think it got it on film I'll put that in right now that's pretty cool mm -hmm. built ourselves a camper that's awesome and they're the ones that's they're down here Huh? That's what I saw, a person. <laughs> yeah, I heard somebody talking. There's people down there. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, well. All right, anyway, I just I thought that was mentioning, worth mentioning. They must have noticed us too because when we come up through there, they was waving like we've known each other for a long time. So they probably noticed our truck too, so. All right, let's get over here and let's do some fishing. Bigfoot. And he's wearing a hiking shoe. Uh, so, there's monkey down there. Yeah, I've been busy. <laughs> Can take a monkey's fish off. She caught uh, she caught a sunfish and a mudfin, bowfin, mudfish, whatever. The ones I was catching last night is three pounder, three point one zero, and I was going to film that and. When I threw it in the water for her, I realized I wanted to film it. <laughs> cool beans! Here, we'll show, the, show your camera here. Aw, oh, isn't he cute? Alright, got it locked on. Mm-hmm. Can you see it in there? Yep. Sure can. There you go. Right there. 3.10. Three pound. Yep. Cool. He, get my pliers. he looks like a fatty. 
So I just thought I'd take a little walk over here. Oh, she's filming us. <laughs> I thought I thought she would get the hint when I started building a fire. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of the Ohio days, man. We didn't care. We just built a fire and keep on fishing. If it got colder, we built a bigger fire. I've never been back in here. Well, this looks this looks cool, guys. I got plenty of trees. I can put my hammock on. Wow. Yeah. Get to feeling better, maybe I can do a solo back in here. Right across them two trees, maybe. Yeah, from that tree to that tree. Well, this is neat. Can't have a fire in here. I mean, all these pine needles, but that's all right. There's a swamp right over there. See the swamp? Might run into Sam Squanch out here. Well, maybe a bear. I don't see anything rooting around now. I thought maybe some hogs would be in here rooting around. There's water source there, but I don't see any, any tracks where anything's been rooting around. There's like a little path here. Maybe just people go back in there and walk around. I don't know. But yeah. So. Yeah, my pulse rate spiked at 180 yesterday. So that's why I was sitting down. I was talking to you guys for a little bit. And then when I, <clears throat> I went to show you, it was 5 after 6 in that video. You can see at the bottom of my watch, my pulse rate was 141. Monkey's like, it's supposed to be in the 80s. <laughs> but I haven't seen it. Today, when we first got out here, it was a 108. I haven't seen it below 100. Well, since I got to watch, look how big this tree is, guys. Oh, wow. Look at that. Huge. So that's where there's a campsite. Right over there, there's a couple. I was like, where'd they get them logs? That's what they've done. They took them out of here. I mean, there's my hand, and it goes up past my elbow, so. Imagine what the rest of that tree, how big around that is. Oh, that's got to be a, I mean, just that one. Look at that. I know it's hard to tell in the camera to gauge, but you know, like I said, wow, that's amazing. I hope this tree lives for a long time. Wow, that is huge. That's probably, oh man, I would say that's probably 20, oh, that's gotta be 20, 25 feet in diameter. That thing is huge and look how far out this, I love the way these water oaks grow. Look how far out that goes. Clear out there. I'll have to bring Monkey over here and let her check that out. So, <laughs> Yeah, she's trying out her new rod. And, uh, and yeah, she's got two fish on it. She's calling it her lucky rod now. But I thought she'd get a hint that it's getting cold when I started building a fire. <laughs> and instead, she took Bruno. Bruno was out exploring for a little bit. She took him back to the truck because he was getting a little chilly. And uh, she come back with another piece of wood, and I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. But yeah, I'll have to bring her, bring her back here and show her that tree. Yeah, I was wondering where 
they got that log at. And I'm like, I was looking around, I didn't see anything, but man, that thing is huge. <laughs> She's keeping the fire going. She may want to film that, so. Let's see something here. Uh oh, she's getting a hit. There she goes. <laughs> Get it, mama. Yes, yeah, she got a 3.10 pound. It's 21 inches long. Wasn't it, mama? Yeah. Cool. All right, I'll be back with you guys. Oh, hang on. See if she gets us fish. I actually had to use the net. Yeah. So now she pulls out her lucky pulls. You won that, didn't you? Yeah. She won that rod. Yep, I won this fishing rod. Hey, right, I'll be back with you I guys. I all summer to get it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> On the game. On the TV game. Yeah. <laughs> she got it finally. There's her old one. Here's the one we fixed in a video. Still holding in there. Alright guys. I'll be back with you. This ain't the river to be doing that shit on. No, oh, they don't care. Hey guys, so check this out. Somebody left some barbecue grills and stuff here. The one was always there, the one on the right. You'll see when we get up here. The one on the right was always here. And this is an old smoker that they brought out and just left. Look at that thing. And then just left it. Wow. <laughs> so that's a smoker. You put your build your fire in here and then the smoke goes in across right. across your meat and then up out of that stack. Is this homemade or you think this was No, a this this is a bought one. And they're not cheap. No. They you are, see that green one? Expensive. And there's another one back here, guys. This is a Weber. Oh my gosh. They just lost them. Yeah. Nuts. I mean, some people I don't I don't know. They just seem to further money away. Well, it's not just that. It's for somebody else to have to come pick it up. Yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah. So. Anyways. That's cool. Thanks for coming. Yeah, take your stuff on. I'm going to leave it in the campground before it comes to crash. Yeah. I like that stack. I like that stack. Can you get that stack? I, I doubt it. So, anyway. Well, there's nobody coming. Oh my God. Yeah, it's bolted in. That's a shame. I, I could use that stack because I'm going to build another grill. Yeah. Those grates that I picked up over there. Yeah, he found some grates too. They came out of this. Uh huh. They came out of this one. Yep. So. It, they were over at the other camp. So yeah. What a shame. 
I can use this. Very interesting. On my next, I'm going to build one to sell. Oh, yeah. yeah, I got a tank out back. And I can use this piece. Use that gauge on it. Yeah. Another one. <laughs> Might be able to use that in mine. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't have one in the bottom of mine. Huh. Well, guys. Anyways, we had a good fishing day. Did yeah, we, Jay Bear? You did. Well, yeah, I did. But you had a great one last night, didn't you? I did yesterday. pretty good last night. Yeah, yeah yesterday afternoon. Yeah, you did pretty Late good. Late evening. So, I'm just glad I caught a couple on my new fishing rod. I'm happy about it. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm going to say I'm out for now. This is a midden mound. It's what? A midden mound, if you want to tell your folks. It's a midden mound? Midden mound from the Indians. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah. This is where I was walking that night when I solo camped. Uh-huh. And I had the boat parked down there. Uh -huh. I came up in here. This is that trail I was heading down when I heard that tree knock and then I decided to get the hell out of here. Oh. This isn't the one you told me to go to the tower? Nope. It's over there. Oh really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. See? Look, look. Now you can see how big it is. Oh yeah. That's a midden mound. You think you can find arrowheads around there? I don't know. You're not but I know you, you're not allowed to dig. You're not allowed to dig, so I don't yeah. know. And if you do see something laying there, you're not allowed to pick it up. So. Yeah. But, yeah. But it'd be cool to find some. When I came out and did the cabin by myself, mm -hmm. I took this trail. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's, it just goes back in there, meets okay. up to the other trails. Uh-huh. Cool. Very pretty in here, too. Yep. Cool. All right, I'll be back with you guys. I gotta go put the fire out. I seen that from way over there. I was like, ooh. This piece is still good, but the fire box is not. Let's see, it's all it's all gone. Got all that junk in there. Yeah, it's a shame. You gonna take that grate? Yeah, I'm gonna take the grate. Okay. You got your other thing? I'd like to have this, yeah. You can't get it off, never? No. Nothing in the car? No, mm, I don't know. Yeah, that'd be cool. Hang on, guys. I'll be back with you. All right, guys. Sorry I didn't catch any fish. But monkey caught fish, so that's good. Today was her day. Yay! She came out here specifically to try, in her, try out her new rod. And it worked good, didn't it? Yeah, I liked it. She likes it, so... It's longer. Yeah, it's longer. She can cast better with it. All right, guys. So, yeah, there we go. Stay tuned for more adventures. It's not really adventure. We haven't had our first adventure yet this year. No. So, but we're going to, this month, we'll go to Cooper, Fort Cooper. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go do a day thing over there. <laughs> but, yeah guys, so thanks for watching, appreciate it. Sorry I had to bail last night, but, yeah, things happen. At least over there, that's where we was at, over there. At least over there I could take the wagon and take my stuff. Yeah, you could. See right here, I mean, it, it's not that far of a walk, but still, it's, you know, for me, it is carrying stuff. Uh -huh. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. She Bird, the Myth, the Man, Legend. I'm gone for now, Monk. Monk, so she's out. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys. Take care. We'll see you in the next one.